Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com, and here's a quick video on how to download Fortnite to your computer laptop or desktop as well as to a Mac. And we're also going to take a look at the Fortnite hardware requirements. Free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. By first taking a look to see if your computer or your laptop meets the Fortnite requirements. I typed this in on Google and this is what popped back to me. Uh, the CPU Core i3 2.4 GHz is recommended as the minimum. RAM minimum is 4 GB of RAM. And then your GPU needs to be at least an Intel HD 4000. I think it needs to be a, a wee bit, a little bit higher than that as a minimum, but uh, that's what this says. And your VRAM, which is how much memory you have on your graphics card, needs to be at a minimum 2 gigabytes of uh, VRAM. So keep that in mind. And Windows needs to be either 7, 8, and 10 64-bit operating system. 32-bit will not work, so keep that in mind. And if I scroll down and click on the next little drop down arrow here, as you can see, it's basically telling me the same thing. So in essence, people, um, the faster the CPU, the more RAM you have, the better the video card you have, and the more VRAM you have on your video card, the better Fortnite is going to um, run on your computer and you're going to have a much better Fortnite gaming experience so keep that in mind okay I went out to Google again and I typed in epicgames.com and you can do the same and epicgames.com is the owner and creator of Fortnite by the way and that's the reason I went ahead and went out here directly to Epic Games website uh, because you can't get Fortnite unless you sign in to Epic Games first and if you have an account with them already, you can go ahead and sign in. If not, click on Get Epic Games. And in Chrome, um, the progress for the download is down here, and it's completed. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And that initiates the window for the Epic Games launcher. And I went ahead and clicked on Install and that's what it's doing it's installing the epic games launcher onto my laptop computer so that i can download fortnite from epic games all right let me go ahead and close out chrome or rather not close it out but i'm going to go ahead and uh, put it down to my taskbar here so that you can see what is going on in the uh, behind the scenes here it's a downloading an update to the epic games launcher and um, this is a good example of uh, epic games is always updating something and uh, applying patches in this case it's doing it to the launcher itself um, so that you know things run smoother and you have a better experience when you're playing um, any of their games um, that's what I've noticed and no I don't work for Epic Games this is not a marketing uh, tutorial uh, video or anything of that nature so uh, I want to put that out front right off the bat here um, in any case as you can see it did um, install a um, icon on my desktop so that I can launch the launcher at any time I choose to all right and you know this is going to take a few minutes um, it depends a lot on the speed and performance of your computer um, as well as the speed and performance of your internet uh, as well okay once it's completed it'll go ahead and automatically um, take you to the sign-in screen um, so that you can log into Epic Games um, homepage um, where you can either download a game or play a game um, um, whatever you choose to do and uh, it has multiple ways of allowing you to sign in and if you have not um, signed up uh, yet for an Epic Games account then you need to go ahead and sign up by clicking on the sign up button here and when you do you get this prompt here that says enter your date of birth 
and once you've completed that go ahead and click on the blue continue button here and that'll take you to the next screen which is the sign in screen and it has different options here and this time you're allowed to go ahead and type in your first name last name a display name of your choosing email address a password of your choosing click on um, I'm not a robot and put a check mark by you have read the information and it's all correct above and once you've done that go ahead and click on create an account once it is highlighted and then you will just get this next screen which will allow you to go ahead and sign into Epic Games by typing in your email address and your password and clicking on login now and then the next thing you're going to get is where do you want to install Fortnite um, on your computer and it gives you that option here choose install location and you can browse um, and or just take the defaults I recommend take the defaults because they're the best way to go about doing this so go ahead and click on install which takes you to Epic Games and also logs you into their store here where you can download any of their games and install on your computer and play them. Um, however, in this case, we're going to do Fortnite. And when you do log in, sometimes you'll get this as a friend. It allows you to connect your social uh, account to find friends on Epic Games. And you can add the service here, Facebook and you can do that now or later I went ahead and close that out because we're going to focus on installing Fortnite okay Fortnite is installing here and if you don't see this here you can always go over to the store and locate Fortnite and click on it and then it'll begin the installation on the download uh, progress bar here that I just clicked on you can see it has not even moved one percent yet um, it's going to be 25.5 gigabytes of storage space on your hard drive that you're going to need and the speed is slow this can take um, anywhere from an hour to five or six hours depending on the speed and performance of your laptop computer or desktop computer as well as the speed and performance of your uh, internet service and once it is completed um, you can come over here and take a look it says um, still installing however once it is completed it'll change from installing to the word launch and that means you can go ahead and launch the Fortnite um, onto your computer and you can begin playing now when you do launch it does take a while so um, again you're gonna have to have a little patience um, the game itself can take about five to ten minutes to actually you know get up and running on your computer and uh, but once you do have it installed keep in mind that it is a game that's well worth the um, effort of waiting to install and once again you get those uh, Windows user account uh, permission prompts always say yes to them and this is um, logging into Fortnite and searching for sessions to open creating parties and we are just about there and all I have to do is click on battle royale and this is the free to play game and it'll load that up and you also get some news and I'm gonna go ahead and click on play and we're there and the avatar by the way is because this is a free game um, depending on what day of the week or what hour of the day that you um, play or log into Fortnite to or launch it um, you could get a different avatar um, two or three different avatars a day so keep that in mind so when you're ready to play go ahead and click on the yellow and black play button here it'll match you up and then it'll go ahead and load some more stuff up and then you're ready to jump and you know deploy your parachute and begin playing Fortnite alright um, that's the end of this video this is Nick with Nick's computer fix and I hope you enjoyed it subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like